ones it seems like I have not loaded this battery here now uh, so but I will try to make a quick review see how it goes otherwise I will patch it together somehow this is a very tiny directions then and this is the most well known I think and I this is the deck I started with but a larger version of it then I don't have that as anymore but um, I felt like I was done with that one so anyway here is I don't know if this is like the Rosenkreutz or back of these there on the larger ones it's not the same backside but I kind of like this backside so I will do a layout and talk meanwhile I Why I do the layout here? <laughs> this is for us all as well, since no one have asked for a free personal reading. This comes in free now for us, and then I will. Uh, if I, I will show you all of the cards also later. Just hold them up. So. And I do it my way, which is a little bit different than the most common Celtic cross, because I use three cards in the middle. Some also use a significant a significator uh, representing. Um, the person they do the layout for, which I uh, kind of do, but uh, I don't pick a card. It, I like see what the central card is, and sometimes it's a person, sometimes it's more of a situation thing. So it's good with these smaller ones that they all fit in the camera, sort of. <laughs> Almost, I, I could uh, change this. So the first card here then, and this is like a little adjusted, oh, the tower card. And oh, there was a question, I got a question about um, saying my name, uh, Francis Akap asked, and um, thanks for commenting the questions, and I, I hesitate a bit because I also filmed where I live now recently, and I already have, a, I don't mean that you know. But I have a stalker around here. I don't think he knows about the videos though. But I kind of... Um, I don't think it's a good idea for now to make it public. But there are many, many around here who knows my name. Because I those who do videos and you know who they are. And uh, they have either their face on or s something else make you know who they are. Um, connects much with others and so on. I, some of those have my address and everything so... It's not that I am secretive like that, but I like my privacy and uh, yeah. And also, I'm not interested to sell products or or services or uh, or find romance or anything like that. So yeah, so I'm not really after connecting in that sense, uh, other than here. So uh, having enough as it is, I'm very grateful for those that I am more connected with, though. But I don't feel the need to. But if you like to call me something, um, as for now, you can call me Tej Palkaur if you like, which is my yogic name. It's my name still, it's a spiritual name though. Or Ayurvedica, why not? So, I think uh, probably some people have also in comments mentioned my name, so <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like I should probably um, be a little bit, bit um, restricted when it comes to that. But, Anyways, um, because you never know who's out there and whatever, and people don't even like when you do things like these or witchy things. I mean, people, there are those who don't want to, I mean, who, who have bad intents with you then as well, uh, you know. Also, so it could be good to just, in, in this uh, space, I kind of want this to be a playground for, for the fun of it. Just Okay, central card. This is like thoughts or thought patterns that we have built up this could be a separation also between a couple of course or or, or relationships um, but oftentimes it's um, we have built some illusions very high and now they fall down and we yeah we are shown that okay 
Actually, this wasn't right. We need to look at it in another way. Very strong first card there. This is very transformative, inner transformation very much. So we need to change. We can't avoid it here. So And... Um, yeah, um, I will pick the next card. Well, here, someone or some people then pick this significator card representing the person they do the layout for, and they then turn it upwards and choose it from the deck. Yeah, but here is what um, blocks this situation. Things are going too fast. It's very quick here, very swift. So it's too much to fast and you know that expression too little too late <laughs> I've thought about a bit that a bit lately it was like um, yeah certain things that I felt like uh, nah, it wasn't like balanced in some relationships and um, yeah but here it's actually the opposite too much too quickly <laughs> which make uh, yeah it takes a toll on some relationship here um, yeah be to, for myself, being the intense person I am, this is pretty symbolic, yeah. Uh, uh, anyways, um, Arthur Edward White decided to create his own deck with uh, all the esoteric traditions uh, would be expressed in each of the cards, even these uh, minor arcana cards, these are the major arcana, uh, before they were only here it actually is almost just wands, but still there is some something behind here and uh, in the air and so on. So they are more expressive, which also make it easier to start with, start to work with cards. So have not only eight coins and two coins or whatever on their uh, minor arcanas. It's easier to remember if you can uh, see it with a picture that represents the meaning of the card. So, so he, uh, <coughs> it was like an epic no not that big but it was a, a huge change and one of the reasons that this is still the most used deck or most popular um, yeah and um, yeah so and here is what can help then oh one focus also stay focused be in tune with your intuition. This is very strong love also. These are also the arrows of love. So maybe this is related to relationship and love. And this is like a double-edged sword as well. Uh, you know, love and hate can also be very closely related. If you like someone very much, it can easily turn the other way around and so on. And what you also, what you send out, you also get it back. Is what it shows as well. So, ace of swords. Uh, this is the strength also very much so. Clarity of thought and strength and um, the potential to also see through the illusions. To gain more clarity, I think. Uh, yeah. Hmm, this is very strong. And to stay strong, I think this is, is uh, what it says. Through the turmoils and things that happen very quickly, it just... Try to keep your focus, your thoughts focused, and stay strong. And also, I thought about saying that sometimes that you know, I was also uh, some years ago. Uh, I was, uh, you know, there are those phone lines in Scandinavia. That phone was all over Scandinavia, and. Um, I got to work there and they tested me like playing cars and doing stuff and they say I said I was overqualified because I'm a psychic and everything but and I thought about that for a while but they hired me but and you know I thought about it both the things that they said you know to also kind of smooth talk people a bit say what they like to hear kind of thing I don't do that and I would feel that would be a betrayal in my connection with the spirits as well that's not my way of working with it with the, any of the tools of the spirit so I don't feel that is right and I didn't have to do that but maybe f fewer would call if you say it straightforward but anyways because you can choose who who you uh, call over and over again if you like as so well 
Uh, but anyways, they also charge huge amounts and some people ruin themselves calling these lines and I just felt that this is wrong, although I, I would get, get a lot of, uh, not a lot of, they take most of the money, those companies actually, but I would uh, get quite some money still myself as well uh, from it, which would be good and needed, but I just couldn't do it, so I just uh, uh, said that I, 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 I don't want to. And I feel so good about that, that I just didn't um, betray my my ethics related to this uh, and stay my own. Um, yeah. Anyways, I don't know, that's not related to this deck particularly, but yeah. And this first deck, this uh, Rider White that I bought, it was maybe... Hmm, I wonder when it was, some sometime in the beginning of the 90s or so, maybe, uh, yeah. or maybe, yeah, yeah, something like that. Here's what we are aware of though. Oh, here's someone who have been hurt before, who is a little bit on guard, have their bandage uh, on their head here, and is very uh, vigilant, you say, Vig yeah ready to strike back if someone attacks so hmm, related to this as well this is a very sharp one but this is the uh, this is the advice to actually be um, steadfast and s stay strong stay with your own um, well opinion here kind of don't betray yourself and even if you feel a bit sharp maybe you you need to be to balance things even if it people don't want to see it. Maybe it's others also who don't want to see those through those illusions. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I tried to do this before this ends. <laughs> Probably won't manage to do that. Anyways. Yeah. And as I said before, but I can mention it quickly, that one, a tarot deck, have 78 cards. Uh, the Great Arcana, Major Arcana, 22 cards, and the uh, Lesser Arcana or Minor Arcana. 56 cards and uh, the word arcana stem from the latin arcanum arcanum or how you say which means secret so and here we have oh here is a so and uh, this is what we are unaware of the subconscious you could say is here and here is what we're very much aware of uh yeah this one is very much on guard also this that <laughs> this you know have you heard about that um uh, you know this board that kids sit on sometimes you know it goes like this uh, yeah they sit on each side and people sometimes are like that as well they they build you up okay kind of, I mean some people who are, are not so um, secure in themselves use others to make themselves lift if they are I mean yeah I mean like this that if they um, build someone up, say, oh, you're the greatest, you're so super good and whatnot. They build you up <laughs> to there and then they suddenly start to bring you down. It's like their way of raising their own, lifting themselves through you kind of thing. I just, uh, I don't know why I think about that now, but maybe it's something we have been uh, subjected to before. That's why we are so suspicious kind of what do you mean with all that? And when will people turn and change and show another side or what it is? Anyways, and oftentimes people really in their actions show what they mean. Their words doesn't mean really all that much. We all know that, but sometimes, at least I, used to listen to words. Although I both see through things and know in advance many things, I also uh, kind of want to listen to what people say, although their actions or the way they behave show much more the truth of the matter so okay what we're unaware of here's what we really want where we really belong what our real treasures are we don't really um, we are not sure about that this person is questioning maybe questioning your relationship <clears throat> maybe it's going too quick in a relationship questioning the love and the um, yeah and need to also set maybe a limit here um to slow things down at least or maybe even to break it although it may hurt someone else to be 
true to yourself and yeah I think this um, is for someone who doesn't really uh, I mean no one maybe hopefully there are actually those who enjoy hurting others but uh, most of us don't so and so I think this represents also that you someone who doesn't want to hurt and are kind of in doubts here this is what have been before then death oh this is a huge transformation outer transformation while this is an inner they are kind of reflections of each other these cards the death and the tower and uh, so this is amazing in the center huge changes is going on here uh, so in the outer there have been changes new things and that have also maybe affected uh, our inner pers perspectives and thoughts around things and how we want things to be and so on and then we have the uh, closest future this is a new home um, yeah this could also be that we accomplish some project or yeah in a, that it uh, was successful or something but I think maybe this is related all the changes that are going on maybe we're moving in some way and it doesn't have to be in a to another home in that sense it could be another type of work it can be something else but this is a a successful car this is harmonious and happy so whatever the change is it's a bit dramatic here but it will really be good so mm. and uh, related to the uh, significator I mentioned also that um, we don't have any court cards here yet maybe I should go on then and see if we come to a court card this is um, uh, how you view the situation are the ones this is for it's for us all oh yeah as I said this one have a hard time to make a decision and the advice here is to look within this is like having a blindfold to not look without Francis or outside of yourself but to listen to this is like your emotions your intuition um, and just feel inside which of these ways most heavily on because they f feel equally bad this person I think doesn't really doesn't want to hurt another one and still maybe this is someone who want to break up or, or at least aren't sure about this whole thing or it goes too quickly so yeah and I don't know what this is about then um, related to this actually there is a strong love here though there is strong love it's just too quick and I don't know and as I said about this car someone who isn't really sure where their heart belong I think in this case um, but if there are some changes which it is here that is thought of actually this um, says that it will be harmonious and good but the decision here feels uh, hard to to deal with and then the next card is what oh and the those around this is heartbreak someone's heart got get broken so this is the other one in this relationship I'm sure who yeah I don't have to say a lot about that and then what we hope or fear uh, this is got, like going through um, testing times and we hope it will get better here somewhere if we're brave enough to stand by our thr truth as the wolf does here and the dog more follows other guidelines and what others tell them to do or obey kind of while this the wolf is wild follow themselves um, the instincts or the deeper intuitive level um, yeah so and we need to follow ourselves to go where we are meant to go really but yeah and there is a hope here and it's also fear if if we choose wrong or if it won't we won't go to any better place kind of or where it will feel better or yeah there are doubts a lot of doubts here related to love here and the end result i'll have to check this now oh here is another it is a court card i mean he's a here is a man that is uh, 
he can be a bit aggressive actually sometimes, or maybe he feels like it. Uh, a little bit stern there, but also very intuitive, very um, bright. I mean, he have this uh, a quick mind and communication skills and and a mature one, but uh, needs to be, I think, very sharp at times. So. Mm, maybe this is for a man actually this reading um, and the first no this the last reading I did I mean where it was at the center there were three queens and then three kings around if you were a man most of the people who watch my channel are men so <laughs> if you're a man who s saw that that can also mean um, that you um, um, focus on someone else or a woman there at the center. I hope you can uh, interpret it um, for yourself. Although I interpret that reading kind of as if, if it was for the woman in the center, uh, as the reading was for a woman. So, but I think this one is actually for a man, and this. Uh, uh, but this is a very strong and. Uh, steadfast person who who sit on his throne here maybe uh, in six months from now maybe this person haven't reached uh, another uh, great love relationship or something but st still things will be brighter and more harmonious and hmm yeah Somehow I think this is needed for this person. Um, yeah, but when it comes to these the court cards, um, wands represent blonde people when it comes to the signature cards. Blonde people with light skin and um, blue eyes and uh, cups, those with light brown hair and gray or blue eyes or maybe green as well. and. Um, Swords maybe would be green if I related to Ayurveda and such, but anyways, swords darker, persons with grey or brown eyes, and pentacles, uh, or pentagrams, dark skin and very dark brown or black hair and uh, dark brown eyes. So, but when you choose the significator, you also choose according to the um, psychological uh, meaning of the cards mostly actually because they represent the soul and insights and so on so yeah um, and also in this uh, Arthur Edward White's deck the fool with number zero is placed between the number 20 and 21 uh, and is then the 21st card in the order of the major arcana cards and uh, he is said to have other suggestions of where to place it, but it, it, it was placed there anyway for some reason. Um, and he also changed in his deck compared to the ones that existed before. He changed uh, the justice from number 8 to number 11 and strength from 11 to number 8. They shifted place, so... Um, and yeah, he was also a, a part of the Golden Dawn, so and was a famous occultist, and and he he felt that those tarot decks that were at the, existed at the time, like Tarot de Marseille, or I think it's called, uh, that they were uh, it was lacking things there, so he wanted to make his own, and uh, it this uh, um, first original deck. Uh, came out 1909 first so yeah and uh, and also when it comes to these court cards um, a king represents oftentimes a man over 40 when you use it as a significant card so but also that can also represent inequalities and mature, mature men that have a lot of life experiences and such so it doesn't have to do with age always and a younger one can be a very sh childlike person or sometimes immature as well but 
Anyway, knight, knights uh, represent men under 40 and queens a woman over 40 and pages a woman younger than 40 for the significative cards. But pages can also represent children and so in the layout. But So I don't really... Um, I think I have to take another card for the outcome here just to understand this very... Um, I think this one doesn't want to be, but have to be very harsh somehow. Um, and yeah, it's needed here. No matter how others around take it. Um, this person really needs to follow the heart, so... Yeah, I will take... Uh, plan it out and take the last card here just to... Yeah, just to see if we get uh, end result. I will ask this: if you would end this, whatever it is that doesn't feel totally right, if you would choose that, I will pick two cards actually, one for that and one for the other decision, to end it, to continue, because I think that's the in this relationship. End it. How it would be to come. This is King of Cups. This is an overflowing person who so have a lot of love to share, and that's also the um, problem. This is the same person who really wants to share love and and need it, and both want to give it and receive it and everything. But yeah, it have to be the right feel right. So if um, so, you are like full of love. So which is good then, because yeah, there is always. Love is always needed <laughs> for others as well, but but it won't probably maybe be another one for a while if so. And if you continue where you're at, no, you won't be pleased. You will look at what you what is not there, things you feel is lacking, what you're not really satisfied with. There are good things, as I saw in the cards as well. There is love and there is friendship very much and everything, but you won't really feel satisfied if you continue with this. So I'm sorry to say, whomever this is for. Yeah. And there are things on the other side of the river, a new home as well here, as I saw. Um, so, but you need to turn and actually maybe leave, maybe not the friendship see what is there and what is good and um, maybe that can be kept but yeah this one feels better though after a while I mean although it feels bad to hurt someone you will feel uh, stable and follow your heart and you have a lot of love so of course you will find someone to share that with but yeah there are too many important things for you that is not there. Uh, maybe it's emotionally or, I don't know, in some ways something is not quite there. So, yeah. I hope someone, whomever this was for, it, oh, it was like a general reading. I'll just look at this. <laughs> oh, here is uh, someone uh, very loving and so on. And birth can it mean this as well? And yeah, many cards can be that. Someone uh, courting, very loving. And uh, here is yeah, those who can't really reach each other, lover, lovers who are trying to get by, but it doesn't really work well. And here is kind of Mother Earth, but the Empress, very cre creative and overflowing and creating her own world. Mm. Maybe these were some other messages not related to the layout. I don't know. So, and I hope you, Francis, doesn't feel bad about me not saying my name. It's not that it's extremely secretive, but I, yeah, um, I don't really, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think you have a, exactly a need for it, do you? <laughs> and also, Tate Brown Code is also my yogic name, and here I do the spiritual things so yeah. if you start to do public videos and connect with others and <laughs> so on and or your video face there and I know better who you are yeah sure but for now I will I'll take it easy so but thanks for asking and thanks for being there and watching and um, 
I will continue, maybe I will take a little break, but I will continue doing these um, uh, small readings with each of my decks, so you can check back and see what decks that I have. So I'm very happy that this didn't stop the battery, so hmm. it was a little bit quicker and not so relaxing maybe, but I hope you enjoyed and uh, talk to you soon, much much love and if you have suggestions on topics or so you want, I will go through the I Ching and both with coins and gyro sticks and to um, the runes and various ways that you can um, div use divination and so on but I will first go through the decks I think so much much love talk to you all soon <laughs>